Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you a simple little simulation using soft bodies, and then I'll give you a, a link to the playlist I have on soft body tutorials. All right, so see if you can figure this out. All right, let me see. This is I call Terminator-like healing effects. So I was going to implement this in uh, a character in one of the games that I'm working on, but at this point, it's just a little bit too slow because soft bodies are definitely slow. But it definitely gives you the right effect. Even here, when you look at this angle, you'll see it. It heals. So it ha it's a lot more capable than doing just healing. It's a very powerful effect. But like I said, the issue is performance. So if you have a really fast computer, I'd recommend working with soft bodies. In fact, it's the only reason I don't spend a lot of time with soft bodies is because I don't have a fast computer. If I had a fast computer, oh, it would become a favorite tool in my tool chest, I assure you. Yeah, nowadays, so basically instead of that, I have to simulate everything with rigid bodies and cloth and kind of make pseudo simulations. But soft body effects, essentially what it's doing, it's, you know, has to compare a lot more points on a mesh with a lot more points on other meshes. So that's why. And the, so the calculation time increases exponentially. So, yeah, there's the link. And uh, maybe uh, you can see what's going on. But at the very least, it'll give you some pretty good ideas about how soft bodies work and what you might be able to do with them. All right, see you in the next video.